Hi guys, here I'd like to show you how to upgrade your old MacBook as fast as a 2012 model. In my case it's a 2012 MacBook Pro and by side the RAM upgrade you can you should consider to upgrade to a SSD from HDD to SSD that gives you already a speed of 400 megabytes per second. If you want tri triple that speed up to one gigabyte per second you need to run two SSDs in your MacBook as a RAID system. For this you have to replace your optical drive with an adapter where your SSD can be connected so you have two SSDs. That's easy to do, there are many tutorials online how to do that but what I couldn't find online is how to make it bootable because Apple don't like that you run the operation system from a RAID system. Don't like that you upgrade your 8 years old MacBook that then runs as fast as a 2012, 2020 model. They want you to buy a new MacBook. Understandable. So there is a way in Moave to boot from a RAID system. Unfortunately not in Catalina. So don't try, there is no more window, they block that totally. But in Moave it's still possible. What you need to do is you cannot install an operation system on a RAID system, it don't let you that. So you need to clone a hard disk. You use an external hard drive, you install with a bootable USB drive, you install Moave on an external hard drive. You boot from this external hard drive, and inside Moave, you download Carbon Clone Disk. It's a trial version, runs perfectly, it's free. Carbon Disk Cloner, you download that and you can make a perfect clone of your external hard drive to your RAID system. Your RAID system should be Mac OS extended. Don't choose APFS, doesn't work. APFS can't handle RAID for now. It lets you choose APFS but you have again error message and you waste time. Don't do that, I did that. <laughs> Mac OS extended version, you make a perfect clone of your external hard drive to your RAID system, you restart, when you restart, every time you restart from your RAID system, it will show you the question mark. So if you want to make a successful boot, you have to hold your control key while booting up, turning on your computer, hold the control button and you come in the startup manager and there you choose the first disk of your RAID system. We show you one and two, you choose number one and then you boot in five seconds, you're in. You have always to do that. This is the way around, but it's not a big deal just to hold this button when you reach time, time to time, otherwise we are in, anyway in standby. But at least once a week you should restart your MacBook. Halt it healthy. And after that you can take your time machine back up back into place after you make the carbon clone. Um, and that's it basically. Uh, quite simple if you know the way. If you're anyway stuck somewhere, let me know in the comment section. I can help you out. Thank you for watching. I hope everything is clear. Let me know if not. Bye guys, see you soon.